So Chris, we've got two whiskies here from the mid-price range. Yes. What have we got? On the left-hand side, we've got a Longmorn 16-year-old. That's a single malt uh, from really the heart of the Speyside region. A lot of it does sort of disappear into, into, bl into blends such as Chivas Regal uh, or Ballantines, that, that, that's, that sort of thing. Um, and that's why I find it quite interesting. There's very limited quantity that makes it in, in, into bottles of single malt. So it's relatively rare, this It's relatively rare. I see. That, that's right. And what about this one? On the right-hand side, I've got uh, a heavily peated uh, Jura whiskey, Isle of Jura, an inner Hebridean whiskey and it is a, a real contrast to the first whiskey. So, so by heavily peated, you mean that it's got a very rich, smoky... A very richly peated. smoky uh, scent and uh, flavour, as, we'll, as we'll come to find out. So which one should we try first? Definitely we'll go with the left-hand bottle first. Left-hand bottle more. first? Certainly, yeah. OK, so what should I expect from this one? What I think we've got here is quite a richly complex whiskey. It's got some deep, intriguing notes and flavours. Um, it's a very smooth sort of aroma, isn't it? Very, very much so. Very sort of... Um, Malty, hopefully. Very aromatic. Barley, honeyed, yes, aromatic. Yes, definitely honeyish and bright. Oh, that goes down very easily indeed, doesn't it? Nice and smooth. Delicious, delicious. Can I have another, another taste? A little one you may. Definitely it's very, very yeah. smooth and um, sophisticated. Absolutely. Totally, complex I would say context. complex, sophisticated, yet mm. it's still sort of in that middle, middle price area yeah. that, that I think we do a lot of, a lot, a lot of good business in. Uh, very accessible whiskey, so not too off-putting from the and, price uh, point of view. Yep. And it, it's partner here. It's partner. Now, what we're going to get there is a real contrast. We're going to get some honey and vanilla notes, but essentially underneath quite a big burst of rich smoky, wow. fiery peat. That's completely different, isn't quite it? Quite fresh, yeah. still quite sweet, but yet richly kind of earthy, smoky. Think, yeah, think think smoky, think Lapsang Sushang, sort yeah. of big, earthy, a hundred chewy, totally smoky, correct. saddle leathery. That's right, and it's a good strength too. So it's, a, it's a good Helps grizzly whiskey. the intensity, totally. It's a real winter warmer, that perhaps. Mm. Yeah, still very palatable and Very it's got lovely sweetness, yeah. sweetness, smoothness exactly. too. So it's not aggressive, it's smoky. But no, it's not I think not aggressive, but it has a good so strength and intensity. This would be your Christmas choice, would it? That's the real warmer. I mean, say we're in for a, quite a cold one, that's the real sort of fireside warmer. Uh, anywhere that's underheated nice. uh, would, would benefit. Uh, so if you're going to clean the snow, take a hip flask of that. That's and, correct, uh, yeah. Away. If you do want to save on your, on your fuel bills, that, 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 that's what to go for. That's enjoy. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome.